Good morning, everyone. How <clears throat> how are y'all feeling? Now that the update is out, and woo, yeah, I got annihilated on this one, man. Grave maker and Teloria, woo. Uh, end up walking over, and I wasn't able to limp back. I came back on a stretcher. <laughs> and please no more tax please no more tax oh i like that i've actually thought about that combination Teloria and bit false wolf i actually thought about that for defense not for this raid tournament but in general um you know, I I finished reading in the community forums about the new update, and there is, oh man, people are torn between the two. And those of you who watched both my rant video and my rant clarity video, in the rant clarity, I said, you know, just just make this hero. Just slow or very slow. Don't do anything else. And poor Vela. <laughs> and it's true. A lot of people don't want to believe this. When I was reading the community forums, I don't have an account on the uh, Empires and Puzzles community forums, but I'll go in there and read and just, you know. See what everyone is saying and how they feel. And, you know, uh, Small Giant, like I said, they're not off the hook. A lot of people will feel like quitting the game or they're going to quit the game. And your cheap to play players just went to free to play. Your pay to win either went down to cheap to pay or free to play. And,. That that mutual trust has been destroyed, and the the again, <clears throat> these are virtual items. These are not anything that you can purchase. You know, like in real form, you go to the store, you buy this refrigerator. From Best Buy or this TV or this PlayStation computer and it doesn't work as advertised and you bring it back and they give you uh, the replacement. You have the option of they give you a brand new one, another brand new one, or they give you your money back guaranteed. You have the receipt. You brought it back within the time frame. And <clears throat> this is not how this works. And a lot of people feel upset, and rightfully so, that um, that in exchange, a lot of people felt that instead of getting a world <laughs> energy flask or a raid flask or a titan flask, we got a one reset button with times 20 emblems. Ooh, wow. They, they could have went above and beyond. To, to make sure they kept people from leaving the game. They could, and it, it, it wouldn't hurt their pockets at all for doing this. They could have went, here's six tonics, six telescopes, two Damascus blades, two Toma tactic, tactics, and what it called, how, uh, how much food? Let me do the math. <laughs> I know y'all gonna clown me if I get this wrong, but uh, I'll pick any one ascend so 708 <clears throat> so that's 14 16 K food right and they could have gave you the shields and uh, the warm capes that would have been good with two reset emblems man 
that right there would have been fine. People would have been all right. I think everybody would have been happy with that because if they would have got 14, 16 K of food, the shield, the uh, four sturdy shields, the six um, tonics, the six telescopes, the four warm capes, the two blades, two tome of tactic, and two reset emblems. That would have made the clean, you know, slate. Because, yeah, people spent the money. You're not going to get your money back in this game. That's that's never going to happen unless you sue. Well, like what happened with King and uh, with Candy Crush, people sued. I remember that. That was huge, man. And that that was a big deal. People got money back. That can't happen. But Small Giant is not, you know, invincible to being sued. Just because in their user agreement, they can say, you don't own your account. We own this account. We don't care if you gave us a million dollars in this game. That's our money. You won't get that back. And you can't do nothing to this account. <laughs> I mean, come on now. It, uh, yes, there is capitalism in this, but it's not 100% guaranteed. There is a settlement. Trust me. There's always settlements. Then that's where they lose. Yes. <laughs> so don't think that that is an open and shut case. You go to court and it's all nope, 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 nope. Now, it did happen with No Man's Sky. I don't know if a lot of y'all know about this game. And ooh, that's why I said in there about people will kill you. The shields and the, the white knights who protect companies. Uh People went after that dude. I forgot his name with No Man's Sky. And he he lied on a lot of stuff. If you watch Angry Joe on YouTube, if for those of y'all who don't know about him, you watch his review how he he went at Destiny 1 and he went at Destiny 2. He went at Battlefront for EA. He went at them. No Man's Sky, oh my gosh. Like, everything this dude was saying who made No Man's Sky, he lied about. False advertising gameplay when he was at E3 showing, like, oh, you get to do all this, all that, and it was not in the game. And over in the UK, they protected him when, it, when, a, when the lawsuit came through to a certain degree. They did over there. But here in America... I don't know how, you know, there's, there's always a way, you know, but I just, just try to keep y'all's head up. Yes. It's a gut, a gut punch and people in there was in the forums <clears throat> saying that, uh, that some of the beta testers did tell the developers during the Teloria beta testing before the release of the hero and, you know, the devs made their decision. They made their decision. And it is what it is. It really is what it is. And just, just go in with the understanding that You know, I got screwed over in an investment situation and I, I wanted to take this guy's life. You know, he screwed me over $15,000 and I went to the company, the investing company over it. And I didn't go there, but the company is based in the UK and Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> you know, it's her money that they're using with this company and all that. And when I filed a complaint, they was like, yeah, you come over here and try. I still have that letter in my email. <laughs> you can come over here and sue, but good luck on that. You signed the dotted line. Understanding, you know, but man, I had to, I had to cry, man. My mom and I, we prayed that out. I was like, if I see this guy, he's gone. He's gone. 15K of my money was gone. He in, wasn't, you know, using it for whatever he wanted. It wasn't doing what he was supposed to do for me. 
for in the stock market. So I learned my lesson, you know, trial and error. Uh, when it comes to video games, like I said, with these other games, Street Fighter Five, No Man's Sky, that's, you know, when the developers don't do right, people leave. And that's what happens. And apparently Small Giant and whoever this other company is, that I think it's with a Z, you know, they feel that it's a revolving door. If you quit the game, someone else is going to come. And that's their mindset. That's the way business works. And they're willing to take some uh, some PR hit. And they're not going to be truthful. They're not going to come straight forward and admit, yes, we made a mistake and we did this on purpose, blah, blah, blah. Because legal, they're not trying to lose money on the legal side. And that's just the way it is in this life. This this life is cold. Ooh, it's a cold world we living in. And we're seeing it right now, you know. And I know a lot of y'all play this game to get away from real life issues. Because this game is fun and addicting. You know, just and having fun in alliances, some alliances, you're like, man, screw those folks. They they left field. But then you find an alliance or you buy yourself. You don't want to be a part of alliance. You running rogue and doing your thing. So, you know, right now I'm in a I'm in a spot where <clears throat> you just saw my inventory and I took a screenshot and because of this, I'm I'm at first, it was clear cut to go ahead and ascend to Loria, go ahead and do Vela. Now, should I do a second Finley? Should I do a second Alice or a second Kingston? Now, a Tomos is relevant. And now I'm like, oh, gosh, shoot. I was really thinking about Zayleen. She's good. Lady of the Lake. Um... A Lassie or a Fenrir. Um, I know I asked, should I do Jabberwock or, I mean, Jabberwock or Cunchin? Jabberwock is going up. It's definite. And <clears throat> and for fun's sake, I was thinking Clarissa or Alfreak Al, Al or Alfreke or Alfreaky. You know, just to have fun, you know. I have a lot of y'all seen it. It's just too many heroes in here to choose from. It's a headache. And I'm sure y'all would love to have that headache. It is. It is a headache to like, you know, yes, you're supposed to ascend heroes for war, war teams on offense and raid tournaments. And, um, you know, Aslar, you know, the when I got his costume, I was so happy. I was so happy. I really, really wanted Sartana. That's why I said in my, my Taloria rant, you know, those of you who have Sartana and have her max, I said, man, y'all going to be so happy if you get her costume. And sure enough, a lot of players didn't know until when they went in there, like people, I've been asked, <laughs> yo, did you get her? No, I tried. <laughs> I tried so hard. And I was like, all right, I got to stop, you know. Uh, I don't want to throw all my money away. I think I, yeah, I probably spent around 400, 500 on the gems. You know, to get the temples, three temples, well, 99,000 gems. So, I mean, I ended up getting multiple Domitia uh, and Magni. Costume got one Aslar, got one Caitlyn. Um, yes, yeah, she's <sighs> baby. I know you watching this. <laughs> Our phone call <laughs> as soon as she popped up, like I said, man, I was like, oh no, because I know you wanted her so bad to finish up your defense. <laughs> Baby, you will get her one day. When she's featured, that's when you'll go for. Her. You'll get your chances of getting her will be higher. Uh, this was just luck of the draw, but she's relevant now, and especially even on offense now with that dodge. 
I, I, I would use her now. Now I'm thinking about pushing her up, you know. Aslar, same thing. Like, I feel that now he's not going to be slow. He's like, he's either we have average minus average or average plus before you go to fast minus or with this. And that's the reason why I say that is because of the costume bonus. But now I'm thinking about put getting him going. And man, this costume is is bad as man boy i think they did great with him some other heroes didn't get touched up but they should have been he should have gotten something just just his regular costume he should at least be just like straight up average or average plus now i mean Kag uh the Kagan, poor K man. Where are you at? You know you down here somewhere. Or up there. He ain't get no love. Unless his his costume is in the third batch. Hopefully they do give him some love in the third batch. Yeah, there you are. Ah. Oh. Oh man. And Gormek. <laughs> yeah. Guardian Owl is awkward. Chameleon. Got one more turn. But you know, everyone just, just try to keep your head up. And Still try to have fun with the game. This was all about the defense of Talori and Vela. This was never about the offense. And yes, the devs could have fixed the defense for all heroes. Honestly, they didn't have to touch Talori and Vela, period. They could have just went in there, fixed the algorithm of the board, which they can. They can fix that where it's not too difficult. Sometimes it will help you. And a lot of times it's against you and they can change it where it can be more for you than against you. Excuse me. They can, they can easily do that. Or they could have easily taken away the percentage of the de defense doing extra damage to you. You know, <clears throat> so we all, those of y'all, you already know this. If you see, if you're facing my team right now on raid in the raid uh, tournament or just a normal raid or even the war, and your costume June is exactly like this, exactly to the T at 17 emblems or 17 nodes, and you have the 30 mana troop. And you go up against me with your costume June exactly like mine. My costume June is going to do more damage when I hit your June. If I hit your June first and you see that I did, I'm just going to give a number. I'm, it's, of course, it's going to be more what I'm going to say. I do 1,000 damage to you and you hit me right back. We, we, bon we don't have no attack boost. We don't have no defense down. Nothing. You hit, you like, all right, now I got my June up. And I haven't even been hit with no tiles. I still have 100% health. You was not hit by any of my, my heroes. And you had 100% health. You hit me right back. You're probably going to do either 800 or 900 damage. That's just the way they programmed it. People have calculated that. That the defense is your those heroes, the same heroes, same emblem paths, same level of troops is going to do more damage than you. They could they the devs can change that. They can tone it down from 20% to 10%, or maybe they do 5% more damage. But then again, everyone who disagrees with that feels that, well, that's not a challenge. 
And <clears throat> everyone's challenges is different. That's the key. I mean, they 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 this game is one of the most challenging games I've played. And Candy Crush at first was worse. When when Candy Crush first came out, you can go watch the YouTube videos. People still got videos going back to when Candy Crush first came out. Woo, it was it was brutal. It was brutal. That's why they got sued. King got sued because they made the board so difficult to force you to lose so you would buy the lollipop booster or, you know, and you get five more turns. It was that crazy. And the game was that addictive. It was. It was that addictive. And... um they they made the game easier now. They had they woo. You look at those videos going back to the original Candy Crush to now. That's why they got all this free stuff that they giving away. They had no choice but to make the game, you know, somewhat uh cheap to pay friendly instead, you know, or even free to play friendly. And sometimes it Sometimes it has to go that way where a company falls flat on their face and gets sued. Lawsuits come in their way where they're just trying to uh, just make as much money as they can and screw over the player base as much as they can. You know, to, to me, I'm, I'm just glad my baby figured out what rating and the turn to war all this stuff is like she when she first said it when we stuck on the island she's like baby now i see that it's not even about the trophies no more and i was like now you getting it in this game this, this game is not about trophies itself anymore you know these two losses and all of y'all we know now now you know when you lose three in a row or someone lose three in a row to you, it wasn't because your defense was so awesome. It was because the board. <laughs> it's the board. You lost to the board. Or you won because of the board. And what I mean by that is, and I'm talking about diamond ranking up. Well, diamond rank only. Because they, they need to make another diamond rank. They do. I personally feel another rank needs to come after Diamond because it's bottlenecked. And if you're a struggling plat high-end platinum uh, rank who can only barely get in at 2,400, and, you, and, and, and then your first... <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna just wait some 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 food just so just to show you what I'm talking about. You you get in and you come across a team power forty six eleven, but their trophies they got rated so their trophies went down to twenty five hundred or twenty four hundred, and they had that three hundred window gap for trophies to face somebody. And you're looking at their defense, and you're like, what the heck? I can't beat them. Well, there's always a re-roll button. That's what everyone keeps saying. But then you keep facing the same team. <laughs> and you're like, I can't beat this team. Well, there's a re-roll button. I can't beat this team. <laughs> there's a re-roll. That's what people keep saying. There's always a re-roll button. I don't see the problem. It's like, well, are you in diamond ring? No. Well, then why are you saying that? If you're not in diamond rank and you don't have the teams to deal with this in your in your arsenal, your hero roster, you're you're SOL. You are. And some people who I know, they tell me like, man, I don't even want to raid no more. It's like it's not fun because I'm going against a team power that's like their emblems is so high. So you go, you're you're matched up with a top player in the game, and you just barely made diamond rank. Why? 
They're like, oh, so you want to stay in diamond rank and you want to fill your, your raid hero chest, right? What's a, a power move on Small John to do this? It's, it's for them to make money. Some people don't understand it. I didn't understand it at first, but then when I realized, I was like, ah, I see why now. Like, <clears throat> I think I've already faced him before this team. Yep, Bell is gone. I wonder, I wonder what's going on. Now I need to go through and look at the, the top uh, alliances, the, at least the top 20 alliances. And even right now, if I go top 20, that doesn't mean that they're set in stone. They're always switching. You know, Extreme Panda will be number one and can drop to 34, then make it back to three. Or Crystal Palace and Crystal Assassin. But no matter if they drop to like 34, if it happens, they're still a top five alliance in this game because that's how strong they are so they it doesn't matter where they bounce around they can always get right back to the top five just like crystal assassin you know crystal palace the, these alliances are are no joke they always move up and down on the list but the, you know i would love to uh <laughs> I'm loving now that we're going to start seeing more of this. This is weird. I don't, you know, maybe this person is just, you know, you know, putting the defense for fun. That's what we needed to go back to. We needed this as much as it hurt, as much as it wasn't right. We needed to go back to seeing some variety. People not being, you know, monkey see, monkey do. Just being original. Do your own thing. I've been looking at, you know, putting in uh family defenses for fun just so when someone raised me they can video record it or brag about it hey i beat born unique's uh grim force defense or i beat his wonderland defense or his uh guardian tau talk or knights of avalon what that's fun that, that don't you think that's fun if you come across a team that has defense that who can afford to do something like this and you play you fight that defense and you get to see the family bonus how it works you really get to see it on the defense side hey some people still sticking in there they believe oh ah there you go homie yes sir yes i would love i would i would love to face this and magni See, this is what I'm talking about. Finfi, I didn't know you got you got both of them. You don't say nothing a lot of times in the Discord. I talk too much in there. <laughs> That's what's up. See, Margaret, she's back. She's back. She's back. Um, We needed the balance, man, and... You can take away the hashtag, no nerf, it's done, it's over with, and just try to move forward in a positive note. You know, if you still want to keep this Vela Teloria going, it's all right. You'll know, you know, if you're losing a lot more, then you're like, it's over. If you're still winning, you're like, no, nah, it's not over for me, maybe for you, but everyone faces different teams all the time. And again, it's the board. They can they can fix it if they want to. Dead Titan Society, yeah, DTS. Um, it's a shame that it went this way though. It didn't have to be this way, and that's life, you know. We we've been there in our personal lives where you know you shouldn't do something, and you end up doing it anyway, and you have now have to face the consequences. That can be anything, and you're like, no, I don't want to face the consequences. I did no, I should never have to face the consequences, even though I know I was wrong. You're saying that to yourself, but you're not going to admit that in person, and that's just like these companies. So, 
you know, I don't mind wasting these this food for y'all to, you know, just seeing the the defense is up now. Like before the pre the pre nerf, it that's all you saw in Diamond Ring, and it was it was hard to show people. Like when they would talk to me in my comment section in YouTube, it's like, bruh, this is all you see. It, it when you made it to diamond and you got hired, it was ridiculous. It was it was sickening. Like I love facing your senior. <laughs> I do. She hit so hard, but a lot of times my healers are ready. They're ready to go and heal. Excuse me. And <clears throat> and we're ready to go battle. I'd rather face your senior than Cunchin and Gwen because I just feel that they're more of a sponge. You know, they, oh, yeah, the family defense. See, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I probably. I don't know if I would have stuck Ariel in the corner. I probably would have. I had this defense before. Back around July. This exact defense, July of last year, and they all were at 3-70. And I believe I had Aries in the middle, Yersinia to the left, Ariel right here, Poseidon, uh, Poseidon over here to the left, left wing. So it was Poseidon, Yersinia, Aries. Ariel than Atomos. I know you're gonna say that's that's stupid. Why would Ariel, you know, get the the attack boost, but also to keep her healing? That's why, so she can keep healing. <clears throat> that's why I did that. But I actually won a lot of fights because I had the the, the fully you know level mana troops. For those wars back then in the small alliance, uh, I, it was tough to take me down. Um, just let me know what you think, you know, and you can be like, man, you still a fool or I agree, disagree. You're cool. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, man. Um. It's good to see that it's not every reroll to Loria and Vela. Not every single one. We got back some di diversity. Oh yeah, and also let me know what you think. Who should I ascend now? If <clears throat> to Loria and Vela are still worthy, I think they are. Is just they're not. Are they still priority number one? That's the question. If they're not, then I might have to go with a second uh, Finley and then either Lady of the Lake or Zaylene. Because uh, we face a lot of Ice Titans in our wars. That's my bad. I said Ice Titans. Ice Tanks. <laughs> we face a lot. I, I've never understood that. That's the first time. Being in this alliance that I'm in since I joined back around January or February ish, I think it was begin very beginning of in the January beginning of February. <sighs> we face so many ice tanks, and we win. You know, but I I I didn't think that that was a big deal with a lot of alliances that was going to ice tanks, and still right now. We've won our first mini Teloria uh, war this past war. And that was tough. Oh, I got robbed. I got robbed so bad. So, uh. One nice thing as well. They, they, they a beast. Woo, this defense. It's interesting now. Like, if the board is for you, Taloria's gone. She's gone now. I 
All right, I ain't going to take up too much of your time. Uh, <clears throat> I need to hit some of y'all back in the other videos I was scrolling through. So I will comment on there, reply back to your comment. I think it's two people I missed. So, but, you know, take care, you know, get back, get back in shape. Most of the jobs are opening up right now. Get back to work. Let's get back to grinding and uh, doing what we got to do for ourselves, for our families, and get our futures, you know, back back on track. All right. Much love, peace, and happiness.